Now, what I wanted to do was sort of show you what we're missing in translation. Um, the reason I wanted to show you this is the, the link between, hopefully oh, you can't see some of the words, but the link between uh, some of the Babylonian creation stories and then the Genesis story are lost in the translation, translation that we get into the English. Um, and you'll have to bear with me, I love Hebrew. And uh, so we're actually going to go through a few of these translations here just to look at what we're missing when we um, read this in English instead of in the original language. And so we have here, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. It's a standard beginning that we all know and love and read. Um, well, the problem with that is, let me see if I can unnote this. The problem with that is this first word here that you've got, barishit, um, it means beginning, and the B up here in the front means in as well, but there's no definite article here. So what you have here is just in a beginning. So in one of many beginnings, maybe, or in just this particular beginning, God created the heavens. And this right here is the word for heavens. It's Hashemayim. And if we look a little bit lower here, you can see a word that looks very similar, which is Hamayim. Um, and that is the word for waters. And so you can see here, this is just a word for heavenly waters, Hashemayim. And so we can change this to to sky waters. And then the word here for earth, ha'eretz, it is more commonly used just to mean land, the earth, the land, the ground that you're, that you're um, standing upon. So we've got this different translation here. In the beginning, God created the sky waters and the land. Now, the next sentence here is where it gets really, really interesting at least for me. Um, we have here, the earth was formless and void, darkness was over the surface of the deep, and the Spirit of God was moving over the surface of the waters. And I'll quickly go through here. This word right here is what they translate as surface. It actually means a physical face. It's the face that you have here. And so, this is just face that you've got. And formless and void, um, that's this section, these words right here, tohu vavohu, and it actually means chaos and emptiness. And then you have over the deep, over the surface of the deep. And there is where um, it gets really interesting. The Hebrew word there is tohom, which is the same word tohomet. And so if we retranslate this, we can say, in the beginning, God created the sky waters and the land. And the land was a chaotic emptiness. And darkness was covering the face of Tiamat. And the Spirit of God was moving over the surface of the waters, over the face of the waters. And so you can see in our English translations, we're missing these direct connections that we've got. Um, to the Babylonian stories that we've got. Now, let me go ahead and clear this out. And so this is the final translation that I came up with. When God began to divinely transform the sky waters and the land, the land was chaotic emptiness, and darkness was covering the face of chaotic waters. And the wind of God blew upon the face of the waters. Thence God said, let light exist, and light existed. 